Thank you, Mr. Chairman. General Milley, I'll allow you to respond to Congressman Moulton specifically as it relates to the depth, duration, and extent of the Russian malign influence campaign in Afghanistan and, and perhaps the extent to which that well predates the current administration. Well, first I want to be clear. It's not just Russia. That there's many other countries that are uh, influencing various actors in Afghanistan. Uh, and they are influencing them with training, money, weapons, uh, propaganda, and uh, international support, and a lot of other things. Uh, and I'm not going to go into source and methods how we know that, but we know that. Uh, with respect to Russia, Russia is one of those countries that's been doing that for years. And they're doing it for their own reasons. Uh, the military action for us, and they're doing it through the Taliban and Haqqani and other groups. So the military action for us is the issue, first and foremost, is force protection. Regardless of who's providing weapons or who's providing money, our force protection measures are at the highest levels, and they're going to stay at the highest levels as long as we have troops out there. Uh, but, so, but, but just so that I could focus the but, question. But I want to go to what we're doing for action. So at the tactical and operational level, there's no particular military action that we're not doing that we should be doing. The issue is higher than that. The issue is at the strategic level. What should or could we be doing at the strategic level? Is there diplomatic and informational and economic? Are there sanctions? Are there demarches? Uh, are there phone calls? Are there pressure? Those sorts of things. And I can tell you that some of that is done. Uh, are we doing as much as we could or should? Perhaps not. Not only to the Russians, but to others. But a lot of it is being done. Uh, some of it's quiet. Some of it's not so quiet. Uh, but don't think that we're not doing anything, because that's not true. Uh, now, I want to get to specifically to the bounties, specifically to the bounties. That is a unique, discrete piece of information that is not corroborated. You've all been briefed on it. I have too, and I am, I and the Secretary and many others are taking it serious. We're going to get to the bottom of it. We're going to find out if, in fact, it's true. And if it is true, we will take action. And I'm glad you mentioned the other countries. Uh, September 5th, 2010, this is from uh, the Times of London. Iran pays the Taliban to kill U.S. soldiers. Right. Uh, then also following up on that, there's a December 2nd, 2015 report from Fox News, report Iran paying Taliban to kill U.S. troops. Mr. Chairman, I seek unanimous consent to enter these in the record. Without objection, so ordered. And uh, General Milley, uh, is, it, is it safe to say, given these reports along with the testimony you just provided, that the environment in Afghanistan, the very nature of the place and the very nature of the entities involved means that our presence there does create these risks where our foreign adversaries create incentives and resources and opportunities for our service members to uh, be harmed. Anytime you commit U.S. military forces anywhere on earth, there's going to be risk. Uh, we went to Afghanistan for a single purpose to prevent Afghanistan from ever being a platform to attack the United States of America with terrorists. Uh, and we've been there ever since to do that. Uh, we are drawing down forces in accordance with the uh, agreement that was signed with the Taliban last February. There hasn't been significant Taliban or Haqqani attacks on U.S. forces since that agreement was signed. And per the direction of the President of the United States, we are drawing down forces, as you'll see unfold, and you'll be briefed on that in full uh, coming into the fall. Uh, but there's always risk, Congressman, and, and I know you know that. There's always risk. There's nothing risk-free here. It's, it's a risk I know you both appreciate, given your service to the country. It's a risk I know the President appreciates. Uh, I've, I've had the occasion to join him at Dover when my constituents have come right. back for dignified transfer, and, and that risk being so ever-present present seems to accentuate the importance of your mission to draw down troops, to create some semblance of, of normalcy in Afghanistan to the extent to which that's even possible. And, and I believe that it is an unrealistic goal to say that we have to chase every terrorist into every cave forever and stay there forever in order to protect the homeland. I think that we've proven that we can be more resilient at home without being more extended abroad, and that after 19, 20 years in Afghanistan, our nation is growing very weary of this. We're growing weary of the dignified transfers. We're growing weary of the cost in terms of blood and treasure. And we grow weary of these circumstances where our adversaries, not just Russia, but Iran and others that are in the region, utilize our continued presence they utilize our, our, might I say, you know, unfocused extension of this conflict uh, to try to harm Americans. So I, I wish you Godspeed in the mission that you're on to draw down those forces. And I uh, thank you for giving us the briefing and certainly for 
enlightening us to the fact that this was not some... Gentleman's time has expired. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Carbajal.